Hello everyone, and this is Samurai Snake. Hello everybody, I'm Johnny, uh, otherwise known as Some Call Me Johnny, of uh, Brain Scratch Commentaries on the, uh, my regular channel, Some Call Me Johnny. And this is Sin and Punishment. This is not Gods of Wrath type stuff, where cats or dogs are living together, or Disco comes back bigger and better than ever. This is just a treasure video game that was made for the Nintendo 64 around the end of the Nintendo 64's life. Yeah, so we're talking, what, 2000, 2001, I want to say? Yeah. Yeah, and um, it didn't see an official release until the vir oh, an American official release until the virtual console a few years ago with complete English menus. Yeah, and what you're seeing right here is me playing the game off from the original cartridge, which I picked up from Acon a couple years ago. Ooh, fancy smancy. Yeah, I so really liked the video game, and uh, when I originally played this game on the virtual console and loved it so much that I wanted the physical copy. Now you said this was made from uh, Treasure, like Gunstar Heroes Treasure? Yeah, Gunstar Heroes, Guardian Heroes, and the legendary shooters Ikaruga and Radiant Silver Gun. Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with uh, three of those games. <laughs> <laughs> All of them, except Gunstar Heroes, ball busting, like, well, ball crunching, I guess that's the best way of putting it. Oh, uh, but they, they make awesome games. So yeah, that's there's... the perfect way to describe their game games. Ball bustingly hard, but satisfying as hell to play. Yeah. Because they, they hit all the sweet spots, especially if you've been playing games since the late 80s, early 90s, where you're used to things just blowing up, uh, collectibles just falling from their corpses, and you just, you know, these, the points go up, stage clear, awesome music, let's go to the next stage. Uh, I think Treasure gets that right the most when it comes to just uh, getting that done. What about, like, what, what do you think? Like, do you enjoy Sin and Punishment overall as a video game? Yeah, I really, I really enjoy it. That how it's very over the top, like m most, like pretty much all of their games. I played a bit of Gunstar Heroes. I played the hell out of Guardian Heroes when it got re-released on the Xbox. Awesome. And also Ikaruga. But that that game kicks my ass so bad. <laughs> I think Ikaruga kicks everybody's ass. But it looks so beautiful. Yeah. And I can't believe that. Uh, was it? Did Treasure localize the game themselves for the GameCube, or am, am I making things up? Was it Nintendo that localized it? I'm not sure who was in charge of localizing it. Uh, a quick Google search, I'm sure. Are we talking specifically GameCube? Because it was originally a Dreamcast game first. Uh, specifically, specifically GameCube, because there's some differences between the Dreamcast version, which was never released here in America or the rest of the Western world, if I remember correctly. Well, I can look that up, and I'll also be looking up donations as we play through this game. Let me see here. Actually, let me uh, look up some donations first before I do some research. Sure. Alright. While he's looking that up, uh, this game's story is a bit of a, what people would say, a mindfuck, because it does not make any sense whatsoever. Fucky. Oh, and now we get to listen to the game's uh, 10 star Good voice morning, acting. Saki. Good morning, Iron. <laughs> Good morning, Iron. Wait a minute, so even the Japanese game had English voice acting? Yeah. Come on, we've got work yeah, to do. Even if, yeah, even if the. Even if you play the Virtual Console release, it'll Let's still go. have uh, Japanese subtitles for the voice acting, but the rest of the menus are translated. <laughs> oh, Alright. And, and the ending, of course, is translated into English as well, otherwise you're not going to understand a lick of it. Alright, we got a two pound donation from Silver Pine Guy, Snake. Snake? SNAKE! STOP freaking CALLING! Bomb, our hero for Pokemon. I'm assuming that you want the two pound donation for uh, naming the character Bomb. Vote for Pokemon Vietnamese. Everyone vote for Bomb. No, <laughs> Bomb is a relic of the past. <laughs> <laughs> vote vote for Bomb. Remember Chaotix from Chaotix was ago. last year. This is the Nintendo thon. Is Knuckles Nintendo? No! We stupid? Well, Sega's kind of become synonymous with Nintendo in 
in the past few days in the, and in the days of the dream. I almost said Dreamcast. GameCube. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a new system. It's Dreamcube. The Dreamcube. <laughs> Uh, I am looking up a uh, development, and I'm seeing nothing between GameCube and Dreamcast differences. Maybe I'm just looking at the wrong spot. Let me type in this. But there's some minor discrepancies between the Xbox re-release, meaning that the little uh, lines of poetry in the Xbox version aren't present in the GameCube version. And that, that little touch makes me a little disappointed. Uh, okay. Uh, according to something here, the only difference between the DC and the uh, GC version is that uh, the audio tracks are played from the, uh, from the CD. It's not live as in the Dreamcast version. So if you were to pause the game, the music would continue to play. What? Uh, yeah, it's one of those where uh, uh, it, it, it's like it's like Red Book audio uh, from like the, the, those old CD-ROM games where. If you pause the game, the music continues to play. In the Dreamcast version, the music played live. I'm guessing using whatever the assets the Dreamcast used. I I don't know, but it sent, but pretty much a streamed audio format or something yes, like that. I think they way. used ADX or something. That that's the only format that I really know that's synonymous with the Dreamcast. Get bonus. Where'd they come from? Apparently, uh, Ikaruga lost features when it was ported to the Xbox Live. Mm. What features did it lose? Because I'm not really too familiar with the GameCube version. I've, I'm only familiar with the Xbox version. Uh. Alright, so... Uh, they, it looks like they removed Conquest mode from Dreamcast. Uh, let me see. The second boss has a minor bug where you can attack its weak point before the fight starts. But at the same time, it also had animal controls, so that you can move your ship a little more comfortably in the Xbox Live version. So, uh, go Team Xbox Live. That's about it, though. Nothing really major, because in terms of the DC versus GameCube, they're pretty much the same. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, but otherwise, if it's nothing that important, then I don't really care. Yeah, no, just, that's fine. Just as long as it's the same core game. Yes. With, with uh, all the important parts parts necessary to make it look pretty much one one with the original version with yeah although with some nice updated features they're all extremely hard that's all that matters yeah <laughs> and this game is no exception would you say about as challenging or a little bit easier uh ikaruga or this game uh no sin punishment sin punishment uh the first few levels are easy if you play them on normal but but when you get to the, this, this is the second, no, this is the third level. When you get to the fourth level, that's when this game starts to get pretty difficult. Yeah. So those of you who couldn't tell just by looking at the screen already, Sin and Punishment is pretty much a rail shooter, only you're on foot. You know, it's like Star Fox, only you're on foot. As much as as much as I can praise Nintendo and Treasure for localizing Sin and Punishment on the Wii Virtual Console, there's nothing like playing it on the original console that it was meant for. Even, I, yeah. even if the Nintendo 64 controller was a mess, because you strafe left and right by pressing C left or C right, you jump with R, hold the Z trigger to fire, and then you switch between lock on and manual aim with the A button. Uh, Axel Ryman, I have actually played uh, Sin and Punishment Star Successor. That is the Wii sequel. And, um, you know, it looked pretty. It's also still hard. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, yeah, around the time I got to a. Uh, what was it? One of the, the tiger boss in that level, in one of those levels, that really started kicking my ass and piss, pissing me off. Which I think uh, that game was able to see release in North America because of the reception to Sin and Punishment. Yeah. Just like virtual console. People was like, hey. Originally Japan only, but now we're finally getting it. It's made by Treasure? Yeah, point, uh, point in the general direction, my good man. Oh, here it is. Wow, he's so scrawny. What, what the protagonist of that game? 
Saki. Well, those, I'm talking about like Saki. That's, that's the kid's name. Oh, right Saki. Right? Oh, this game, Saki. Not not the one in the in the second game. So yeah, I'm talking specifically like this guy. I, mean, I know I know I know chalk it up to N64 model quality, but he's got chicken legs. Yeah, that that's pretty much that's the but that that's the kind of protagonist that they go for. And I guess some of these kinds of games, the teenagers, because. Uh, Japan has this emphasis of, of looking good, and if you and if you're looking overweight or something, you're really, really bad. You're like a bad person or whatever. So I guess this game would be reinforcing Japanese uh, cultural stereotypes that if you're if you're a scrawny, skinny dude, you're the good guy, or you're a good person. The fatter, the better. <laughs> I won't let you kill Radon, she says, as she just stands by, letting me kill Radon. <laughs> it's not that important. I shove you. You're in my way. Oh, goody missed. For what it's worth, I'm playing on easy, but still, it's still kind of a hard game. Even, even on easy. It's just that some attack... The, there's an increase in the amount of enemies that they throw at you. My research materials. How could you? So you're the leader of these killers. The See if we got anything. Oh, there we do. We have a five-pound donation from. I want to say five dollar, but it's pound. It's different. I know. Let me take him. Uh, five-pound donation from Bombshell. Uh, here's a concept image of the Brain Scratch chapter of the Conveyor Belt Brawler. Basic idea: robot army is attacking the world. Go beat them up and claim the Almighty Mecha Brain. I'll have basic gameplay demo in two weeks. Okay, and so blank. I can't click on that. No, so, uh, I appreciate your ambition and uh, good luck with your project, dude. Thank, thank, you for, thank, you thank you for donating. So, anyways, we can't hurt Kachua because she's invincible. At least temporarily. Because otherwise she's going to throw all this random crap at us. She's throwing her mooks at you. <laughs> she's, she's throwing all these uh, armed volunteer soldiers at us. That are That's basically the UN army. And uh, what Saki is a part of is the uh, savior group led by a bunch of teenagers and kids. Well, we're going to get some juicy political commentary here. Because uh, teenagers totally know how to save the world, guys. <laughs> of course, adults are useless. Ah, I missed that. You're supposed to time your hit perfectly when she rushes at you. Or whatever. She's dead. Dead or going to the Shadow Realm? Okay, I lied. She's not dead. Okay, no Shadow Realm. Because shit's about to hit the fan, as they say. <laughs> as the good book says. <laughs> shit is about to hit the fan. So, if you're familiar with Evangelion, I think Third Impact just happened. Oh, what? <laughs> Everything's gonna tang? Whatever that is, I don't know. I don't watch Evangelion. <laughs> All I know is that Japan loves destroying its own country. It's been a trope ever since World War II ended. Neo Tokyo is overrated. Now we're gonna make Neo Neo Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> we're basically giant monsters. Don't fight, Kachua. Wait for me. Flooding Japan. Japan. What is going on? Exactly. Yeah, Taco 23, uh, 322. Hey, Johnny, tomorrow Rare Replay comes out. Yes, I'm aware. And uh, I think today is the Wii release of Freedom Planet. If you guys haven't bought that already, I suggest you do. But anyway, let me check the donations page while Evangelion initiates third impact. <laughs> Again, don't I hate you? So, for, if you're fighting Kachua, she's gonna try to punch you overhead and from the side, and so it's best to lock onto her and constantly fire your gun. Get you know, I looked away from the screen for one second. <laughs> I thought you were a boy and his gun. Now nah, you're a mech fighting demons. <laughs> so now she's got to hide underneath the lava 
and al also fire all these waves at us. If we're playing on a higher difficulty, she has extra attacks like a, a fire wave that she fires overneath you and all these lasers that she fires from underneath the lava. I, you know, I like that sort of uh, difficulty change, you know, where instead of just the boss doing more damage in higher difficulties, they have unique attacks. Because uh, I, to, to me, that is an incentive for actually trying harder difficulties. You know, you get to see exclusive stuff you couldn't see in normal or easy mode. Yeah, it seems to be pretty synonymous with the way that they did Radiant Silver Gun. Yeah. Uh, I would say as early as, um, it's not quite the same, but Gunstar Heroes. Oh, uh, yeah. Specific, specifically, um, Seven Force. Um, if you played on any of uh, the easier difficulties, you, oh, you you didn't fight all seven forms. Oh yeah, with uh, the character Green or whatever? Green. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing from Proton Jun's Gunstar Heroes Let's Play with Gerard that Green did all these extra attacks. And yes. I, I never played on hard difficulty or the hardest difficulty at all because, I, because I'm that such requires, a that, that puts some hair That puts some hair on your chest if you do that. <laughs> You're only a man if you play if you play hard games. Yes, and if you play Contra without using the lives code, because you hate yourself. But you're a man while you hate yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you're a man only if you play masochist difficulty. If, if you games. enjoy hurting yourself, yes. We have a one-pound donation There's from Silver Pine Guy yet again. It doesn't matter if Pokemon is and Knuckles Chaotix. Our hero is still here to defend. Bomb will bring down the evil in the world. Yes! Bomb will become the Pokemon champion. <laughs> what kind of cultists are you raising here? <laughs> Cults that want a, a protagonist that blows himself up to save the world? Yeah, okay. Well, if we... <laughs> no! <laughs> we need a good leader! Commit suicide to save the world. I show the world how weak your beast really is. Oh, it's an adorable little fuzzy thing. That thing will be the ender of worlds it's if it grows up. It's the armed volunteer ship. Attention, attention. Our defense of Tokyo has failed, but we shall remain in Japan to battle this new beast. Yeast? Its target is a ruffian lair in Hokkaido. Yeah, so just the uh, refresh everyone's memory here if you're uh, just joining us for day two of the Nintendo Thon. Well, that's exactly what we are, the Nintendo Thon. We're a two week long marathon of Nintendo games of all sorts. Raising money for Mind it is a, a UK based yeah. charitable oh, organization to uh, helping uh, people with um, mental issues. Because, as I think, I think Derek uh, from Game Explained yesterday said it best you know, mental health is just as important as physical health. And we're here to raise money to make it easier to uh, help people with uh, those sort of issues like depression. Just things that affect uh, everyday lives. I'm sure everyone here has been affected uh, at some sort uh, by those kind of things. And we want to help you know, raise money to help battle against that sort of thing because you know, mental health is very, very important. You know, it's, dare I say, you, it's, <laughs> it, it, is, it is a pivotal to living a well life and I, I'm just I, I need more coffee. <laughs> you got any more coffee? I don't I don't have any coffee, I don't drink any coffee. Ugh, lucky man. The only thing I drink caffeine related is milk. Oh, uh, okay. So the way to defeat Leda is to is to play hide and seek with her initially. Deflect all these objects at her from finding her hiding spot and then and just slashing her with your s s sword that's also a gun oh crap there's one extra enemy on here that that's on normal that's in the middle that will fire those electric lasers What is going on with this lady's upper torso? 
Are you talking about irons? Yeah, I just whatever. <laughs> just like <laughs> whatever the whatever the protagonist is right now, girl, guy, who knows? I think it's a female. Yeah, but it's irons like, like an inch is... long waist. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, a sudden wind could snap her in half. The, that's the beauty of the Nintendo 64, my friend. <laughs> Anime-inspired graphics on the Nintendo 64. Bring anime-inspired in anime. I mean that that actually reminds me of seeing this story about this Russian girl that want that wanted to look like an anime character and she looked she looked perfect with her eyes and all. She did surgery on her eyes to look like an anime character. And but she also looked very skinny and underweight. Yeah, so So tying this into mental health, uh uh don't uh uh, keep your head in the real world. Don't look to the real world. Look for proper standards. Cartoonish character designs are meant to be kept in the cartoonish world. Yes. Don't aspire to look like an anime character in real life. If where their own proportions. We live in a Pokemon. We live in a Pokemon. I hate you so much. I'm going to be the greatest master of the most. <laughs> <laughs> Anime is bad for your brain, says Harmon. So what they got you broke free? Iron! Iron! Oh no! You're getting trapped in that Katamari Damasi ball. The anime was a mistake. There's <laughs> nothing but trash. Good grief. <laughs> see that quote everywhere nowadays. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> E even if even if it's taken out of context. Yeah, even if it's taken out of context. Like, he, he's got a picture wow. of John McCain and it just says anime. It was a mistake. <laughs> Honestly, it, it's the perverted otaku that's ruining anime. <laughs> Let it be known, I, I identify as an otaku, but not one of the perverted kind. I don't fall, I don't fall for... I don't... I think anime characters are attractive, even if they look cute or whatever, I'm not attracted to them, or nor do I even want the relationship with an anime character. I'm I don't, sorry, I'm just not sexually into No, I don't I don't have a waifu. Don't you realize how dangerous teleporting is? <laughs> uh, uh, that's, a, that's a whole other can of worms. Anyway, we got another donation here. We got a 50 pound donation from Anonymous. Salutations, Nobutron here. Wait a minute, you just said you were Anonymous. Now you're Nobutron? Make up your mind! The Sonic I thought was great, and this looks to be even greater. Sin and Punishment's a great game with wonderful music, and it's a great cause we're all donating for. P.S. Can Johnny do a walking impression, please? Oh! Hey! Thanks! For your generous donation of 50 pounds. Hey! Snake. How you doing? This is Snake. I'm, I'm here. No, I'm doing okay. Not that Snake. You're delusional. <laughs> Shut up! Let me have my fun! <laughs> Okay, so Leda's gonna lay these bombs around the stage, and you're gonna have to use your... I think it's a plasma sword gun? I don't know what this is called. It's not a gun blade, that much I can tell you. But Brad here is invincible, and will not die no matter how many times you fire your gun at him. But Leda's dead now. So to defeat Brad, we're going to have to keep pairing him with our sword. Brad. Uh, an interesting name compared to the others that we fought. Brad. He doesn't seem to be actively aiming for you. Well, wait until you get to the sword fight part, where that's when he starts explicitly targeting you. Also I like how you powers. visibly slam him into the window pane and it shatters, but the window's still intact. <laughs> Strange powers indeed. Just wait for it, the Achi window breaks. Oh, okay, it just wasn't broken <laughs> enough. <laughs> Maybe invincible? The just send, for that send your enemy through a freaking window. Beast. Saki is nothing like you. I never thought you'd try to make friends by passing your blood. 
I have no incentive to care about these characters at all. Perhaps not friends. Perhaps it doesn't look like a game that you care about the story. No. Just shoot things. Change can be a scary thing when you don't know. That's per pretty back. much what the story for this game is. But it, but for a game like Radiant Silver Gun, where the story I mean, is, you want to change the story is actually pretty human? good if you play the story mode for a, for a shooter. Yeah, the story here is about as important as the story in like Evangelion. I would say, no, I, if we're going to video games here, I would say House of the Dead. You know, uh, yeah. in the, if you ever play the House of the Dead in the arcade, the story is very passe. You know, it's one cutscene just to lead you into another action scene. Yeah, that's pretty much the, that's pretty much what all, all Japanese made games were, were like, from like the NES to, to the... I don't want to say the GameCube onwards or the Dreamcast. Well, uh, every action-oriented. Yeah, like, every action-oriented rail shooting platform game. Yeah. Like Time Crisis and uh, whatever other arcade shooter was out there. Yeah, this, this is essentially a, an arcade game made for the Nintendo 64. Action. Kind of like, kind of like how Mega Man was was created for the NES. At, as an arcade at home game. Yeah. So, this is a, an amazing part of the game where Achi just separated a part of the ship and now we're just floating around on it. <laughs> she never was a fan of Battleship. Uh, I hate, sure I you, hate you so much. Missiles? Uh, I have any action. <laughs> just back to back. Yeah, that that's pretty much the core of this game. That if if there are any projectiles, like missile projectiles, you gotta you gotta fling them back at your enemy, but yeah. also target them at the same time. Otherwise, they're not gonna hit their intended target. This is like this is the perfect place to show a clip of the game to it. It tell people if anybody asks, hey, what kind of game is Sin and Punishment? You just show them this part. Just show, them, just show them. Just show them. Just show them. separating a platform from the, uh, from the ship. Yeah, and then going into the air. It's it's absolute insanity. Yeah. <laughs> and also, if your enemies are up close, you're gonna want to tap the Z trigger to cut them down with your sword. Yeah, I do like that mechanic where if enemies get too close, you have a second weapon to deal with them. Uh, akin to something like, uh, say, Star Fox, where it's your laser blaster from here on out. Yeah, that's pretty much how you're going to have to cheese Star Fox by charging up your laser and then blasting your enemies to oblivion. Seeing the chat say that the boss of this stage is known as that one boss. Or Sin and Punishment. Interesting. Hmm, that that one boss. I can't wait until we get to that one boss. Oh gosh, I just realized we're running out of time. All, if you run out of time, your health starts decreasing. Well, because you're holding your breath. <laughs> I. So I guess the time the. Okay, now we have more time. Yeah, Give me that life! Near Zero Minor. Holy crap. See, this is what I mean by the game being a, a bit difficult, even on easy. Because even if you're on easy, you're, you're probably going to run out of time and your health is going to start decreasing. Yeah. Oh, are you playing on the easy difficulty, or does that normal? Uh, this is the easy difficulty. I'm sorry yeah. if anyone's disappointed. No, no, we're not here to we're not here to grow knuckles on our hairs. We're, we're here to raise money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're here mainly mainly to. Raise I played money. F Zero yesterday on the beginners class. Don't worry. We're mainly here to to entertain you guys and and right, also raise money through entertainment. Or in, the, or in this case, Johnny keeps me on making dumb jokes. Okay. <laughs> to hear more about dumb jokes? What? Oh, shoot! Oh, 
focus on focus on the new stuff. Don't focus on Jiminy Christmas. How am I doing this? I'm hoping for the fact that you say Jiminy Christmas. Okay, how's the uh, stream coming in for everyone, folks? If you're uh, tuning in after the uh, the thing went momentarily offline. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm looking away. I can only assume that Snake is constipated. I'm constipated and jumping over stuff. You know, there are laxatives for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess pooping may... I'm not even going to go down that avenue. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. This is where... Uh, Things start to get crazy. What? <laughs> it's shoot battleships, tossing missiles back inside Evangelion. Next story, third impact wasn't crazy enough. So now that gigantic carrier just fired a limited range heart bomb at Saki. Oh, that's right. Uh, according to X Gamer Richie, we are 32 pounds away from 3,000 pounds, folks. I think we can reach easily break that goal before set of punishment ends. I believe in you. So we're gonna have to keep firing at this missile over and over. Do not use automatic locked on. And when it gets close, slash the crap out of it. <laughs> what is that you're shooting? That is a heart bomb. Heart bomb. Or a pole star, as it's called. Hmm. We're still too early. Just exposing a weakness would be bad. Is it they fired a nuke at us. What do we do? We'll they hit the nuke back at him. <laughs> you won't bother us. <laughs> Hurry up and change shoot, shoot. Who the heck is shooting us? Who Sucky's cares? Fire missiles! Yeah, we need to shoot at them back. I'll believe it when I see it. To so return Saki to human form, counter their nuke you with, enter their, with your own nuke. Recover his humanity. I will <laughs> Maybe Saki's they'll intercept chest. each other in you midair. to his heart. Tell him everything. Thoughts, memories, hopes, dreams. As long as he wants to be with you, he can accept his humanity. Stop it! How can we do that? First, we must put Saki to sleep. No! I, I, I just go it. back to just fire the Saki's development forehead. process for this, because if this originally started oh, as a Japanese-only game, why English cutscenes? Do you want Saki to stay this way? Mm. Was it there in was it there in purpose Shut to be uh, like exotic? I guess I kind of wonder about that myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now we're in a subway for some reason. <laughs> well, you know, after shooting all day on the battleship, you after, kind of after shooting me. down a missile that's so trying to target a giant monster, that's yeah. her boyfriend. Yeah, you just want to go home after that. Yeah. Unfortunately, the the I ninety five is jammed, so we got to go somewhere. But why? Hey, you, you. you mean the? Do you know where what was it called? We're on Long the Island. Are the four hundred five, where you can where they call it the four hundred five because it can go either four America? or five miles per hour. <laughs> I never heard of that, but I'll read that later. Are you? <laughs> why did you do this to me? <laughs> why is? It, why is this even happening? <laughs> that is the question I think Iron speaks for us all when she says What happened that. to the East Coast? What happened to Japan? What happened to the East Coast? I just saw there was a giant the, crack yeah. on the East Coast. Wait, you're, be you're based on the East Coast, aren't you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm shattered like glass. <laughs> well, I think the East Coast got wiped out or something. Okay, um, I was thinking, we're telling, uh, your TV is coming in a little too loud from your headphones. Uh, yeah. let me turn that, let me turn that down. Okay. And let's see if we have any more donations to read. America. Mommy, are the monsters gone? Could you not call me mommy? Okay, good. Okay, I think that, the, um, the refreshing on the page is being a little wonky. I think this is the same issue that Nathan and Derek were having here today. Yeah. Okay, uh, it's okay. We got a one pound donation once again from Silver Pine Guy. Once again, Snake. Snake. Snake! My hero bomb will come to rescue you and revive the stream for the sake of all those who need help. Revive it for a. Revive bomb for a healthy mind. Yeah, and tell him to help me. 
Okay, we have a 10 pound donation from Matt. Hey guys, we'd just like to say that you guys are doing a great job with the marathon and hope that all goes well. Also, Johnny, I love your reviews because they help me find some of my favorite games. Runner can choose incentive. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What incentives do we have on? Uh, let me see. Let me get that incentive list up and go. Okay, well, we have the the Kinsey Koopa Boss fight for Paper Mario Part 3, whenever Ted gets to that. Uh, we have the DDD tour for Kirby's Triple Deluxe. Uh, the Proto Shield for Mega Man 7, a 100% run of Metroid Fusion. Uh, we have a costume choice for Hyrule Warriors. Uh, CS Tell for Hyrule Warriors. And, uh, you know, the names for Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal. Uh, let's put it towards the names of Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal. Which one specifically? Bomb. Bomb! Okay, I just wanted to ask, but to make sure I got ahead of you. <laughs> Alright, that's what's bomb. Okay, now we have a five pounder. Sean! Sean! I like to get more guys, but I think this is at least useful. Of course it is! Again, every little bit counts, guys. Don't kill trip yourselves if you can't, you know, not not everybody can be a five million pound donation. No. Though so somebody gets Scott Coffin. Please. I mean, just give what you get just give what you can. Absolutely, yeah. It all adds up. Okay, I just have to shoot the arms this time or this body. Oh my gosh, enemies are everywhere. One thousand hits. Wait, play a Senate Punishment or Marvel versus Capcom? Sin of Punishment. <laughs> the count the combo counter doesn't go that high. <laughs> I, I see you're not trying hard, but yeah, press different PC. <laughs> Yuri, how did this end? Everywhere. There's no end to that. Yeah, I don't I don't speak Italian. <laughs> Twenty Oh gosh, 2017. 2017? But that that's two years from now. <laughs> yeah, so whatever city this is, that looks like that looks like the twin towers in the background, so that's gonna be the future of New York. A giant ruffian named Saki is gonna attack New York. No, oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's Avengers Three. <laughs> is it a warning to me? <laughs> if we just fixed that. You. What's your name? Issa Amamaya. I can even write it in kanji. Issa that is not how you say Amamiya. It's not Amamaya. It's Amamiya. Get it right. No, no, it's Mamma Mia. I knew you were going to say that. I, you just <laughs> haven't made that joke. I knew that was coming. What do you expect from me? High quality, great <laughs> no jokes. What do you think you're talking to here? Anyway, uh, let me see here. Uh, Tom says you're coming in a little quiet, or the game's too loud. I want to get to it. I'll turn it down a bit. Yeah, sure. We got a thousand hit combo to keep on there. Nope. In the aisles, Iron. Now it's gonna start punching the ground. Whoosh! Is that a good or, or a bad sound? That's a good. Okay. That's a good sound. All right. I'll write that one down. When Snake says boosh, good things are bound to come. You realize I expect you to say that, though, if you win that x race. Wait, what? If you say boosh. Yeah. Okay, this boss. Fling projectiles 
in its eye or what whatever it is, I don't know. It looks like an eye that's shooting a laser. Alright, pay refresh the donation page so we can read. The best part about cleaning projectiles back at the eye shooting the laser is that it takes out a columns and rows of these guys. So that way you're racking up a ton of hits. We are currently at 2,973 pounds, just a few away from the wonderful 3,000. That is the 17th sequel to the wonderful 101. <laughs> Alright. Dead. The Saki still make that, uh, and I'm, I'm pretty sure the voice acting wasn't changed between the um, N64 That's and the Virtual right. Console release, but the Saki still make that strange noise whenever he gets hit. We're in Achi's vision. Uh, Saki's him. not in Star Successor on the Wii U, on the Wii, but... Well, no, no, yeah, I was talking specifically the N64 game. Oh, the N64 game, yeah. Don't go having a child. This is no future for children. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but laugh how he says that. Don't go on about having a child. This is no future for children. <laughs> what are you stupid? What do you think of your mom? Mommy's scary, but mommy's nice. Isa loves you, mommy. And I love you, Isa. That's why I know we'll see each other. Good God, this voice acting. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, I can't take it anymore. They can go away, Snake. I'm, I'd rather listen to House of the Dead 2's voice acting. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd rather shot in the ears, is what Snake is pretty much saying. <laughs> it's like getting shot in the ears or getting your ears ripped off. Now then. <clears throat> No, Wait, is that, was that an actual line? A world without children, future generations will thank us? Yes. That, that's an actual that line. Have generations <laughs> without children! That's stupid! Well, the future of 2017 looks like hell on Earth, so what do you expect? And yeah, we're doing a stream. This dumb game, I love it, and it's dumb dialogue. who uses his powers to bring that war to an end. He'll be feared, respected, his very figure a symbol of command. So basically, she's gonna want a future where uh, that turns out like 2017, or in that vision that Iron had. He bred ruffians with his blood, writing and acting no! in his own war. He rushed to beat me to it. But Get I'm into his body, Iron. Get into his belly. Are those markings on the, 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 the girl with the dress, is there, are those like tribal tattoos or just like part of her biology? <coughs> so I think it's clear. I think it'd be clear now that, well, probably from the very beginning that Achi is not human, so that those those are probably markings from whatever alien species he is. Ah, uh, okay, so it is part of our biology. I got you. I that'd be the most I could make from this from this game, and it's a mess of a story. Oh, uh, we don't need to go too deep into that. I just figured I'd make a visual observation. Yeah. Anyway, so we're walking on water. Is this robot Jesus? <laughs> That's not a denial. No. <laughs> Well, we teleported away to a beach now. <laughs> Boy, I'm tired. I'm tired from being put in a sake stomach. It smells. Ruffians. Stomach smells like butt. I, I've got to fight them. <laughs> I thought the butt smelled like butt. <laughs> but the stomach smells like butt too. Hi, almost naked sake. What? Good what is morning. going on here? 
So he's now like part ruffian, part human now. You know, Ruffian is a name that we give to people that are just jerks. <laughs> yeah, apparently that's the name of the new species of animal that they hunt for food. Don't question, don't question the game's naming of animals. It's like or, if Saki oh, had sex with Zidane for Papa Fantasy Die. Oh gosh. <laughs> was Zidane a Ruffian too? No. Z Nothing's real anymore. Z Zidane's like a, uh, Zidane like was like breeding a furry with a human. <laughs> this is like bre breeding an alien or with xenomorph or no, not with a furry. Dear God, not with a furry. More like with an actual human that's not a furry. Okay, well, as we try to comprehend this mess of a story, we got some more donations. We have a five pound donation from Jonathan Reinhardt. Good to see you again. Hey all, I have no did. idea what is going on in this game, but who cares? Here's some money. Put it to whatever you like. You got five pounds to put to whatever you like. Uh, put it more towards bomb in oh. Vietnamese crystal. Gotcha. Five <laughs> pounds towards bomb for Vietnamese crystal. You will not defeat me. <laughs> anyway, we got another five pounds from Shockstorm. On the second day of Nintendo Thon, the runners. Oh, yeah. On the second day of the Nintendo Thon, the runners gave to me. Donnie being awesome, but Johnny going crazy. That's out of it. <laughs> but whatever. More sunshine, I guess. Yeah, I suppose so. But can you guys beat the goal? We'll find out in the upcoming days. But uh, we also got a 10 pound donation from Zach M. Hey guys, I love HFC and Johnny, and I love your reviews. It's a fantastic cause that you guys are working hard towards, and I'm happy to help with what little I can. Every little bit helps, Zach. We appreciate that, yeah. along with Shockstorm and Jonathan Reinhardt. Thank you, Zach. So, the, since I'm probably the only one that can read Japanese here, this is Hokkaido. I'm in front of a train station for Hokkaido. And this is home to all the ruffians. This is where they live. Okay. And where they spiraled out of control. If it if the story means any relevance to you, I... Honestly, it doesn't really to me. Uh, I got my popcorn on standby. You know where I think about this story. <laughs> but, uh, 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 just to go a little back. Are you fluent in Japanese? Or do you, can you read it? I can read it. I'm not fluent in it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Is this something you, you aim to, like, go for? Like, being able to speak it? Yeah, but since I'm so... Yeah, but since I'm so busy with some real-life responsibilities and what whatnot, it's kind of hard for me to, stu to study. Mm. Uh, sometimes I study on the weekend. Sometimes I uh, meet with my Japanese teacher on weekends. Okay. Uh, as a pri private lesson thing. Also, because since there's not a whole lot of Japanese people that live here in the Southwest, uh, the, the, it's be best if I meet someone so I can talk with them in the actual language. Still, it's pretty cool to learn. I yeah. Not very often I know someone that can actually speak Japanese. So, what just happened was we killed the spider's body, and now we're fighting what it, the life bar says, the birth model or the core of the spider? Sure. <laughs> Whatever, game. <laughs> this is like fighting Tubba Lubba's heart in uh, Mario, in Paper Mario, whenever we get to that. Yeah, but you didn't have a gun in that game. No. <laughs> It'd be a very different game. <laughs> had a gun. Kind of like that old Flash game, Super Mario Rampage, where he just ru runs forward on rails with a gun, blasting everything <laughs> up. And now Saki's gun is also a flamethrower as well, roasting the remains of the spider. Why can't I do this? Ruffian Central. At least we won't go hungry. First, let's find a safer spot. Ruffians roasting right. on an open, open fire. fire. We'll keep watch here tonight. Blood raining fire. down on your nose. <laughs> well, Rudolph is a lot darker than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best I could come up with, given the content of this game. Yeah, just, 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 yeah let's just keep going on to this macabre version of Chestnuts vs. They must be on that road. 
I'll check it out. Wait here. You're tough, son. Goodbye, Iron. No, come back. <laughs> Iron. Iron. Wow, you sound so Iron. concerned, uh, uh, Saki. Well, n now this is another very awesome part of the game. It turns into a side-scrolling section. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, so... so basically, this is very reminiscent of Gunstar Heroes. Okay, if I recall correctly, uh, the Weave game on Sin and Punishment also had 2D sections. Yeah, there was one section of it that I kind of don't... I kind of don't want to spoil for anyone, but... Because it's very, very awesome. Oh, okay. Then just leave it at that. Gotta drive up... Gotta drive up... Uh, new sales for that for this game or whatever copies are left in existence. I think I finally realized what bugs me about Saki's running animation is that he he has a very wide leg spread. Yeah. But he doesn't he doesn't lean his body forward to justify the running <laughs> animation. As far as I know, he's just Pinocchio with a gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can, I can see that he is pre pretty much very robot, robotic and static in his. Uh, uh, Leg and body movements. So, there's gonna be a lot of ruffians or enemies roaming around here. It's just gonna get more insane and insane from here on out. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to read aloud something uh, X Gamer Richie just posted in the chat. Yeah. So everybody can uh, keep up. So guys, game incentive reminders. We are 193 pounds away from the DDD Tour in Kirby Triple Deluxe, 52 pounds away from Proto Shield in Mega Man 7, 110 pounds and 20 pence for Metroid Fusion 100%, uh, which I'm running at the end of this week, if I recall correctly, uh, 100 pounds for Banjo Kazooie. Kazooie? Okay. Uh, one, uh, well, Banjo Kazooie 100%, thank you. Uh, 133 pounds away from CS Tail and Hyrule Warriors, uh, 444 pounds for Adventure Mode Showcase. Uh, 490 pounds for Ganon's Fury, 4 pounds for Kensei Koopa and Paper Mario, 100 pounds for the Training Dojo for Paper Mario, and 73 pounds away for the Triple Anti-Guy Fight. Yeah, we got plenty of incentives to go about for this marathon, folks, and we appreciate every little help, uh, every bit. Um, you know, if we really, if we really want to get these incentives down, like every little bit donation, you know, put it towards an incentive. Oh my gosh, holy crap. Godzilla was freaking chasing me back there. Or more like a xenomorph. I shouldn't have badmouthed this movie. <laughs> Why did I badmouth this movie? Are you talking about the old, old American one that was crap? Yeah, this is around that time. I would say it's topical, yes. Uh, yeah, give it take a two years. Uh, give yeah. it take a two years. It's still fresh in our minds. It's still fresh in our minds as the worst, one of the worst movies ever. So it did make for, uh, um, I don't, I'm not sure, do you watch Godzilla a lot? No. Uh, okay, well, in, um, I think it was Godzilla Final Wars, or, uh, one of those, uh, one of the more modern Godzilla films in the mid-2000s, uh, Japanese Godzilla actually fights American Godzilla, and it's a complete curb stomp battle. Like, yeah, Jap yeah, I saw that, that basically, uh, Amer Japanese Godzilla curb stomps the American one into oblivion. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Get me down from here! Well, well, that's death number one. Death number one. Oh, you, you, I feel so ashamed. <laughs> How dare you die? Well, just keep keeping true to ac actual arcade games. I get to enter my name or whatever three initials I wish. Hmm. Wow. So, what is your three-letter name? Just the first three letters. <laughs> ABC? Nice to 20, meet you. 22 credits. Holy crap. Game over, yeah! Okay, I'm going to have to jump over this guy. It seems really uh, disorienting for the game to suddenly turn into a 2D se side-scrolling section where you aim your gun around. Yeah. It is it's still essentially a rail shooter just from a different perspective. Yeah. 
Uh, how close are you to finishing the game? Very, very close. Very, after very this close. Yeah. After this stage, there's the final, final boss. There's the final boss, and then there's the ending. There's the final boss and the final, final boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay. Oh my god. So basically, it's neck and neck between Bomb and Iwata, with Bomb in the lead by three pounds. <laughs> I don't need to get your name chosen. No, Iwata should not be beaten by a Bomb. This is... <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'm not... I'm just gonna shut up about that. But that's gonna be Iwata's legacy. Do you want to taint Iwata's legacy by being beaten by a forgettable third-rate character from a forgettable Sonic game? Okay. No. Okay, I'll 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 give it to you. Chaotix is somewhat somewhat forgettable because the mechanics were not fleshed out that well. Great music, yeah. but the game left a lot to be desired. Yeah, I'll have to agree with one of my friends on that. That. Ah, dang it! And there it goes. Man, that end part of the game is pretty tough. Alrighty then, let me hit the refresh page here. Let's... I, I, I hit F5 on the keyboard because I got a feeling that sometimes the refresh button that doesn't work. You get out of here. You, leave. Please? <laughs> okay. Gems, take him out with your gun. Ascended Punishment is not one of those uh, dynamic difficulty games, is it? Where if you keep dying, it gets easier? No, it's not. It's nothing like like that. I don't think I've played any games like like that. Other than, I guess if you want to call King of Fighters 98 or something like that, a dynamic difficulty game where if you die and continue, you get a you get a slot roulette that can potentially lower the difficulty of, of the game, either by giving you a power-up or reducing enemy health. Oh, okay. So a handicap, pretty much. Basically a handy, handicap. I, I I, don't think I've played any, any games that give you dynamic difficulty at all. Yeah. Well, at King of Fighters, that that's the first time I've ever heard of a roulette wheel giving you a special handicap for the next... You know, because, you know, depending on how, high, how hard the difficulty is in the game, that may not mean anything. Like, you can give me all sorts of roulette wheels for Mortal Kombat 2. The AI is still going to kick my ass. <laughs> Alright, now we're back on rails again. This is more like it. This is more like the game that we had in the beginning. As a reminder, we are seven pounds away from breaking three thousand pounds for our donation total. Can we do it before Sin and Punishment ends? Tune in next time on Dragon Ball, Ball Z. Uh, or Sin and, Sin and Punishment. <laughs> Z. <laughs> and there's the chat every once in a while keeps typing in "get bonus." Is that? Is this just something that pops up on the screen? Because I've been, I've been checking the donation. Yeah, it, that's budget. something that uh, pops up on the screen. Get bonus! And there it is. Uh, what, it, what it reads as is... Uh, commander... Or... Yeah, commander bonus. Jeez, this end of the game is difficult.
Yeah, super icy. Dragon Sin and Punishment. That sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, it does. A little pretentious. <laughs> Dragon Sin and Punishment? Yeah. This dragon has blood in his hands. So, from what it looks like, it looks like I'm fighting infected armed volunteer soldiers that are now ruffians or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's, hard, it's, it's hard to tell from the graphics of this game what these enemies are actually supposed to be. That said, I can definitely say that this game is not aged that well. I want to, you know what, the one thing I do want to look up is uh, why was this Japan only for such a long time? Considering Treasure made other games that was released in well, the United States. Well, this was released close to the end of this N64's life, so... It was... They wanted more emphasis on the GameCube, I take it. Yeah, because the GameCube wouldn't be out until a, a, approximately a year later, I think. I, I remember hearing stories about the GameCube being released in 20, uh, in 2001. Yeah, I'm doing uh, just glancing over development, and it's it's exactly the reason why you stated it's uh, the the market for the N64 by the time was weak. Uh, 2000, uh, the PS2 was out uh, late 2000, so everyone's eyes were on that. I was like, but we still got N64. Nobody cares. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much the same reason why the original Mother 1 never saw the Western release. Even though it was finished, uh, the Super Nintendo was on the way out. Yeah. So the Earthbound beginnings that we got like a month ago was not something they chalked up in a yeah. short of time. That's something they've actually had in their backlog for over 20 years. Oh, good grief. We're finally at the end. And as we've reached the end, we have broken 3,000 pounds. Yay! So we got a few donations here. A couple of them. <laughs> okay. First, we got a one pound donation from Mike Tendo. Sna? Sna? Sna! We got the game. Good work on the run so far, guys. It's all been great and fun to watch. Put this to 100% Banjo Kazooie. Alrighty then. And we got a 10 pound donation from Star James 77. Okay. <laughs> Every little bit helps. We fought alongside you, believing you would save humanity. But you're using us as weapons with a different goal in mind. That is amazing, I gotta tell you. Still in training. You'll always be on the front line. Good. It's good to know what a game with, you know, lovely shooting mechanics, horrible voice acting, and horrible model quality can bring people together to raise money yeah. <laughs> for a better mind. Or, or put, or, uh... Oh my god, it's jammed! Or saving, or saving our own mind from whatever, whatever, uh... <laughs> no, I uh, think I'll be fine. I've from whatever, a... from whatever story this game has. Have you ever watched any of Ula Bowl's films? What? Ua Bowl. Ooh, oh, um, I only I remember seeing the fact that you're hesitating fire. means no, which means good. <laughs> like, like I, you say you okay, save yourself I, torture. I, if you're mean, if you mean seeing them like all the way through, I have not. I only remember seeing parts of Street Fighter and a couple of other of his films. No, Ua, uh, Street Fighter wasn't Ua Bowl. Uh, I thought it I think... was. No, I'm, no oh, I'm pretty sure Street Fighter was not a little Let me check. I'm pretty sure it is. But anyways, um, I, I, Achi has apparently been using us and training us so we can fight in, an intergalactic war for her. Whatever that means. So now she's go going to turn into a false planet and attack us. What, in God's name? <laughs> And and now, Hyrin uh, uh, is in Saki's body, controlling his sanity. What's going on, Snake? That, 
yeah, what exactly is going on? That's the perfect another way to sum up sin and punishment. So now we're fighting on the edge of the atmosphere. So now cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> good grief! Th this boss is insane. So now we have to defend the real Earth while fighting off the fake Earth or the Earth mimicry <laughs> by firing back at all these shots and reflecting them back at the false planet. Which was the real Earth? <laughs> to be safe, you must destroy both of them. <laughs> <laughs> So the final boss is literally a planet. It's basically the false Earth. Yeah, a planet, in other words. <laughs> I don't care if it's false or not, it's still a planet. Doing pretty good so far. Yeah, it's easy doing, yeah. Well, it's kind of neck and neck at this, at this point, pretty, pretty much. This, this is the hardest fight in the game. And this is where it's going to test everything that you've learned. But, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Stop using your winds to destroy the Earth. No. <laughs> Volcanic explosions? Now, now what? Whoa! What is go- Have you ever played Fantavision? I've seen- I Yeah, I played it. That Firex game on the PlayStation 2. Yeah, I see if they played it too. This, this is, this is Fantavision on crack. <laughs> with planetoid destruction. Don't tell me you actually destroy a planet with the fireworks in that game. No, no, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Because th that's not a firework, that's a nuclear device. <laughs> this is worse than a nuclear device. This, these are like volcanic explosions or We're supernovas. We're talking about a Class X event here, man. <laughs> Catastrophes up the wazoo. Wait, is it? Is that the worst Class X? I think Class X is, yeah, like Planet Killer. Oh, man. Boosh! Holy crap. This game is insane. <laughs> Goodbye, fake Earth. <laughs> all of you and out with you and your real estate. <laughs> all, all of its fake people can go do, can go to fake hell. All right. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right. So let, before we close off, we have a few more donations to read off here. Uh, Thirty pounds by Zephyr nine nine eight. I have nothing more to say but to give it to you guys. Keep going on. Oh, and I want this donation to go towards the 100% run of Metroid Fusion. Duly noted. Thank you very much. Uh, another one pound donation. So, actually, we got three pound donation total because the, the next two comments are from Silver Pine Guy. John, can you sing us the Super Mario Super Show theme? I can see someone in the chat ask for it. Once again, bomb for Pokemon. <laughs> and let's get it to 3,000 for Bob's sake. Oh, we already did. I sadly have to go to work now. All right, you enjoy your day of work. Uh, the Super Mario Super Show theme. I don't know all the lyrics to that. Uh, you know, I I'll learn the lyrics at some point during this marathon, then I'll sing it then. I can't do it now because I don't know the words. I think I know some of the lyrics. I just know we're the Mario Brothers and plumbing is our game. Our game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. If your singing is in trouble, you can call us on the double. I don't know the rest of the words. Something of the something, you'll be hooked on the brothers. You'll be hooked on the brothers. <clears throat> yeah. I'll, I'll learn faster that Faster than the others, the you can hook on the brother. You, you get hooked on the brothers. <clears throat> <laughs> Snake, awkward rapper. <laughs> so, if we were playing the Wii Virtual Console version of this game, this entire ending would be in English. But I can probably sum it up be better. Uh, basically, she's lost. She's lost Saki forever, and Iron as well. And that the enemy that's coming for this intergalactic war of hers, or whatever, is gonna come and destroy the Earth, or whatever. Which happens sometime in the in-between events for this game and Sin and Punishment Star Successor on the Wii.
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, this game. Again, treasure. Fantastic game. We're just talking about gameplay. Good lord, stay away from the script. <laughs> <laughs> just stay away from the script. <laughs> All right, then, so we got credits to roll here, so we uh, let the credits play out and end this session for the yep. Nintendo phone. So. Ba basically, if it's of any significance, I Iron and Saki shipping is what's going on here. That she's going to have to be the one to keep Saki's sanity in check. And so he doesn't go berserk and destroy the world like the monster he is. Shipping, but she blew up battleships earlier. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> oh, and also, Iron is also pregnant with Saki's child, known as Isa Amamiya or Isa Joe, Isa Amamaya, Isa Mama Mia, whatever the heck you want to call him. <laughs> it's a nice ragu. <sighs> this this freaking game. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I want to hear anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> You'd probably get some more more a more fulfilling story from from uh, Shadow of Destiny. From a, from Radiant Silver Gun, because that. Oh, Bill Trinan did the English translation for this game? <laughs> Trinan? <laughs> Holy crap. And no wonder why he was replaced by a 10 year old. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Reggie. Reggie got replaced by a 10 year old. Yeah, but then after that, he got his job back and then he fired Bill Trinan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> a lot of people want to. Wow. Mm, kudos to you, Bill Trennan, for translating the, the the mess of a story and dialogue for this game. <laughs> but anyways, if you want a more fulfilling story from Treasure, go play Radiant Silver Gun. It, with whatever story that is, even though you're there to primarily shoot stuff up. But that game has like Noah's Ark levels of story that's actually very good for a, for a little shooter. Yeah. And uh, again, this game is available on the virtual console in case you don't want to shill out money for an authentic cartridge. And I do recommend uh, Star Successor on the Wii. I had a lot of fun with that one for as little I played it. 